Hi everybody, I thought I would come on today and um, show you inside look of CLE or Christian Light Education's Science 2. I am going to be using this for my fourth grader, my second grader, and two first graders. And um, I think this will work out perfectly. If it needs to be a little beefed up, I can beef it up for my uh, fourth grader. Um, but I do have just, I have the teacher's guide and just two um, of the light units because um, it's budget friendly like that. But all of the light units are pictured in the teacher's manual. So, um, excuse me. So that, that's okay. Alright, so I'll show you inside the um, light units first. And then I'll show you the teacher's guide. Okay, so in light unit 201. Let me see if I can raise this up a little bit. So inside of the um, light units, you you get your contents page, and this shows you um, light units are broken up into four sections. In this one, you have God created animals, and then it tells you what lessons are inside the, that section. God cares for animals, the gift of animals, and God wants to care for animals. And then you have what I call the light unit map, and. Um, it says you are here and it shows you the light unit that you're in and what the title of the light unit is. And then over here it um, is your materials. It tells you the materials that are needed to complete the extra activity or any activity that is in the light unit. And this one, uh, the light unit is on page 45. Lesson 16 is the extra activity. You need modeling clay and tempera paints for it. It also gives you a pronunciation key. And then you get, um, this is a looking ahead lesson. You have your text, your um, question that needs to be answered, and some more text, and then you get your questions. And that's basically um, what the light units are like, or what the lessons are like. Um, in section one, it starts off with lesson two. You have your vocabulary, your text, and this one has a Bible verse to look up. And then you have your questions. In lesson three, you have like a little activity, a re-remember re activity, and then you have um, your vocab, and then um, verses, your text, and then questions. And that's basically how every lesson is set up with re-remember, re um, vocab, text. And I love the little illustrations. They are so cute. And I love how there's not a whole bunch of color in here because... Um, that distracts me. It distracts my children. And we just love the black and white or the little browns. Um, so in light unit one, that's how they're broken up. Okay. And I'll show you what the light unit test looks like for lesson for, for light unit one. They are found in the middle. Uh, the light unit tests are found in the middle. You have your quizzes in the back. So the quizzes are in the back of the light units, but then your tests are in the middle. You can take them out if you like. I just leave them in and the kids know to bypass them. But it starts off with a Bible verse. And then, see it's not too much writing for your first grade, for my first graders. It's perfect for my second grader because that's where she's at. And if it needs to be beefed up for my oldest, I can, but I think, I think he'll do just fine. Like, I'll make him write a little bit more than what I would my first graders and my second grader on this part. Alright. Um, light unit 2 starts off the same way. You have your table of contents, the titles of each section, and then what is inside of each section. And then you have your light unit map, your page, lesson, whether it's an extra activity or not, and then what is needed, pronunciation key. And then you have your um, vocabs, your text, and then your questions, text, questions. And then you start off your section. And then you got lesson two, vocab, text, and then your questions. Okay, and I'll show you a little bit further back. Here's the test. Here's the test. 
for this, for uh, light unit two. And then here's what section three looks like. You have to re-remember your vocabulary and your text and then your questions. All right, now inside of the teacher's book, you open it up. Now this, I um, will say that this isn't completely necessary, but um, for me, it's like a safety net because I love having the teacher's guides. And um, there's also like a few extra um, things inside of here that helps with teaching your light units. All right, so let me open it up. Do, 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 do. Okay, you have your contents. And this, and this shows the sections, it shows the lessons and what the title of each lesson is. It shows when the quizzes are and stuff like that. And then you have, this shows the features of the guide with all the little symbols. Um, like the little uh, starburst one. This symbol did, um, is related to what the student is studying in the light unit. But that enlarge upon or go beyond what is included there. Um, the little person, this symbol is used anywhere there are suggestions for discussion. The flashlight reminds you that you should be monitoring your students. Um, the scissors and pencil, this is used to mark suggested activities. This little arrow, this is a review symbol. And then you have your answer key. So these are just um, features of what's in the, te of the teacher's guide. Then it talks about the light units. The, each light unit is designed to take 17 days and contains two quizzes, a self-check, and a light unit test. Um, and then you have your teacher symbols right here. These are found inside the light units. And it talks about grading. Um, and then contents of this light unit, talking about um, 201. And activities that are inside of there, where they're located, and what they are. And then you have your layout. And this shows the objectives, discussion questions, or discussion discussions and then you have your answers and it shows exactly what your student sees um, then here's lesson two and your discussion objectives and so that I'll flip further back this is lesson one in light unit three and see as you can see it's just text answers or questions so you have your vocab text text questions some more text and then questions See, they're all set up the same exact way. Um, this one's talking about squirrels and lesson two and light unit three. Um, then we're talking about bird, bats, deer mice, porcupines, black bears. I love this. White tailed deer. All right, and look at, can you see the illustrations? They are gorgeous. All right, and then back here, you have your outline. Let me get there. And then you have, you have in the appendix, you have your course outline. So it gives you the title of the what they're going to be learning, animals. This is all about animals. And then guide created animals. Um, and then tells you the sections, what's in each section, and all that. Um, animals in their habitats and like unit 202 animals mammals you know in light unit 3 and it talks about squirrels bats deer mice striped skunks porcupines white-tailed deer black bears um, dogs cattle animal watch telling your animal telling about your animal watch and then they'll be learning about birds and light unit 4 and like unit five, talking about how birds travel, feathers, feet, and bills, uh, more about the body of a bird, and stuff like that. And then this is a supplementary resource material. Um, as you teach this course, you will want to have supplementary reading material for your students. This less suggests a few books and activities you may want to consider. And this not only talks about books and magazines, but also talks about games. Like, um, let me see here. Uh, like you know, 202, it talks about puzzles depicting forest, pond, and rainforest habitats. Um, 204 and 205, binoculars, the birding game, bird feeders, bird houses, and stuff like that. 
And then it also tells you about like the books like this one up here. It talks about in 201 through 205 the North American wildlife. And then down here it tells you the author um, and all that. And it tells you about like what the book is about. Like the, this book de deals mainly with the North American habitats and so it would be a useful reference for Light Unit 202. It also has information on conservation, caves, birds, migration, and endangered species. The text is not written on a second grade level, but the book is full of pictures, captions, and diagrams that students can understand and enjoy. Um, and it has some evolutionary content. So I love how it like gives like little um, descriptions and stuff like that about the reading material or things that they suggest. Um, then you have your alternate light unit test. So if they don't do well on the test in here, then you know that you need to review it. And after you review it, you can give them um, another chance on the test. So that's this is like uh, 201's alternate test. All right. And that is your overview. Or that is the look inside of... Um, science 2. Alright, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I will doing, I'll be doing some more walkthroughs. I have Learning to Read, then I have English 2, or Language Arts 2, Reading 2, and um, Bible 2, and Social Studies 2 that I'm going to do walkthroughs of. So, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will, I love getting um, comments and, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, my mind, my mind just went blank. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye.